Hello, Michael Daniels here. How is everyone? I am going to show you today how to, in OBS, distinguish between an alpha channel and also a green screen because there's a difference. You can green screen where it puts your image behind a green part of the screen, or there's an alpha channel that you can do and move that alpha part. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Check this out. Okay, I'm gonna start first here with a brand new scene. We're gonna call this one we're gonna call, call this one green screen. Okay, so we have a brand new blank slate. I'm gonna add a source. Right here you hit the plus sign to add sources. I'm gonna go find an image. Okay, we're gonna call this green. Green two folks, all right? Green two folks, and I'll show you why. We're gonna have two people on screen, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna bring in my camera, but I'm also gonna bring in a zoom that I have with my mobile, so here we go. Now I'm gonna go search for the image. Okay, so I found an image. I wanna do this underwater one, like it has something underwater in the background, and then I got these two images. Kinda of cool, huh? So then I, and I hit okay after I browse for it. Once I have them, it puts it on screen. Then I can right click, I'm gonna, uh, transform and fit to screen which I think is also control F but I'm gonna fit to screen because I've already made it the right size on my image so now I've got that now I've got to take the green out of that image right because I need to show but let me show you why I need to take the green out so you can kind of see okay so you can understand a little bit about what I'm doing what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna bring the camera that I'm using okay video capture and I'm gonna bring in my C922. I already have it chosen here because I've used it before. Okay, and I'm gonna hit okay. All right, so that should bring that in. Okay, that brings that in. You can kind of see that I've chosen my C922 web stream camera. All right, and I'm gonna have that in one spot. It's probably pretty big, that's okay. I can put it like this. But you see how it's like on top? I don't, I don't really want it on top because it's outside the little box that I created, right? Even if I did this, it's still gonna look kind of silly and not, not exactly the way I want it. I mean, you could, but I don't get the rounded edges if I put it on top, right? So we're gonna sh show you how to push that on the bottom and you'll see how to do that in just a second. Like, I'm gonna leave that just like that. Now, notice it's on top right now, okay? What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go get uh, my zoom where I've brought in my uh, phone so it's gonna be a different angle of me it's still gonna be me in the red shirt because it's showing me but it's gonna have a different angle so let me just show you that real quick so I'm going to go in here I'm gonna get a window capture and I'm going to choose the zoom okay there it is there's the zoom see how big that is immediately I want to crop that now here's a bonus, 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 bonus. here's how you crop in OBS, you hold down the Alt key, the Alt key while pressing with your left mouse on one of these little circles off to the side. Okay, so that's me cropping this side and this side. Now I get just an image of me and it's kind of square, but we're going to resize and do all that stuff later. Okay, now. That's to crop, right? To crop is to do that. But to expand, to make your image larger, you just take that corner and do this. If I was, if I do this and just take the corner, you see what happens. If I crop and do this, it actually crops the image. So that's the difference in cropping and moving it. So again, see, I'm gonna get it to try to make my, me and, both of us this kind of sort of same size and okay so I'm gonna kind of sort of center this and put it right there so you can kind of see so again both of these need to move to the back that's fine so what I'm gonna do is if I move them to the back obviously they're gonna go away okay they go back that goes back but I got them straight ahead of time now what I 
when I have a scene like this, if you look at the, the green two folks that I have here, I don't want that to move around. See how that moves around? It's like a layer. It's like a window. I want to lock that. I don't want that to move. So even if I adjust the cameras underneath, I want to use this lock key that you see right here and lock that so I can move these cameras freely when I need to. Now, let's get rid of the green. I'm going to right click. Since I have this selected, the green two folks, I'm going to right click. I'm going to filter. And when I filter, I do chroma key. Hit OK. Boom, it chromas them out right away. A lot of times, since I've done this many a times, it'll be proper. See how, how good it is back there? I can just hit close and it's done. You may have to do some adjustments. If you do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how to get back here. So I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna go back to filter. I'm gonna choose the chroma key, which it already is chosen. And here I can change similarity. I can bring this down, smooth this. So you can see right here, I went uh, on the similarity. I went to 346. I just wanna show you what some of this changes. See how that kind of gray and then it brings out. And then if I go too far this way, then it takes out the green. It kind of gets that green exactly where you need it to go. Then the smoothness, again, you can do the smoothness and hit close. And that's pretty good. So that has my two images back behind. You can see down in the corners there of how that uh, com comes about. Now what you wanna do, remember how I have this locked. I'm gonna go to the C922. You see how there's bleed over over here in this other window? So if I go, you can see my hand from right here. Watch, right, this, this one, where is it? This, this, this camera right there. It's, it bleeds over into that one. And right here, I'm gonna take that left-hand side and I'm gonna move that over, okay? So I'm gonna take that, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna crop it. I'm gonna do it with Alt. So I'm gonna hold down Alt, crop, and move it over. So now I don't have to worry about it, okay? So now, when I'm here, it won't go over into that other screen. It's up underneath everything. Kinda cool, huh? It's kinda neat. And then this one over here, I probably want to do the same thing on this zoom one. I've already done it. See how I got this edge right here, so that's not a big problem. And over here, I can go over as far as I want. It doesn't really matter because that's already off screen, etc., and that kind of stuff. So this is how you green screen. And if I, I probably would want to do, see how there's a little black line at the top and a little black line at the bottom? Since I have the zoom one collect, so selected, I'm going to drag this. I'm not going to crop because I'm moving it. Cropping it shrinks the image that you have. I'm gonna move it up, boom. So the black's gone and I'm gonna move it down, boom, so the black's gone. Now we're actually kind of centered and everything and it looks pretty good. This is how you do the green screen using a template or a, imagine like you took a big piece of wood, cut a couple holes out of it and put it up there and then painted the front of the wood. That's kind of what it's like. Okay, now on to the alpha. Let's try that. Okay, so I've created a blank scene as you can see right here. I'm going to add in, I gotta get the image in the background, right? So let me go do that. This is gonna be background image. All right, hit okay. Okay, and I'm gonna go browse for it. Okay, so just to keep the themes going, let's go with this underwater scene. That's just the whole thing is as, as the whole background. Do you remember what how to get this? Let's try Control F, see if that works. Because last time we went into the menu and did it. Yep, Control F is to resize to full screen. So if I right click and then transform and then fit to screen, Control F is exactly the same thing. So now it's fit to screen and it's there. Okay, now this time what I'm gonna do, and I'm only gonna do one image, you can do as many as you want and put them behind, but I'm just gonna do one just to give you the idea of a similar thing. Okay, so now I have the C922. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click, choose filters, but instead of chroma key on this, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a image mask blend. So I hit OK, and when I do that, I'm going to change this. It says Alpha Mask Color Channel. I'm going to Alpha Mask Alpha Channel. 
okay? And then what I'm gonna do in the path, I'm gonna go search for an image, okay? This, one, this time I'm looking for a round circle because that's what I want, so I'll be right back. Okay, so in my folder here, I want this circle. It's my 1280 by 720 circle. I'm gonna open it, bring it in, and you can see already it kind of circled me up. I'm gonna hit close, and boom, now I'm in somewhat of a circle. See how I'm in that circle? And because I have a background that is missing, I need to have a color back there. Okay, so since I have it green screened out, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna show you a little trick right here. I'm gonna add in a color source. I'm gonna take that color source. Let's make this one a blue dark. Okay, so I'm gonna get a dark blue color. Hit okay. I can go choose and select that color. I'm gonna choose this one right here. That's a dark blue, it's kind of cool. Kind of oceany kind of thing. I'm gonna hit okay, okay? And it just makes the square this big. So what I wanna do is I wanna take this square and I wanna give it a circle just like mine. So do you remember where we went to do that? Right click, filters, choose plus sign, image mask blend, hit okay. I'm gonna change it from color channel to alpha channel, browse, go back and get that circle because I want the circle same as mine. I can always resize it, no big deal, and hit close. So now it's right over top of mine. It's actually pretty close to the same size. I can actually size it right here and make sure it covers everything. So now my image is gone, right? And it's on top, so what do we have to do? Move it to the bottom, see here, dark blue circle. Boom, and then see, then I'm back behind. And notice I'm back behind in here no matter what. Now, what I'm gonna show you something really cool here too. This is another bonus, bonus, here we go. Okay, so if I select, hold down the shift and select C920 and the blue dark and right click, and then I group those, group selected items. Now they're grouped. So whenever I move those, Whenever I move that item, so I'm gonna lock the background as usual, and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna move this, and look how they're locked. Otherwise, I would have to move them individually. I can actually resize as well. I can resize if I wanna make that smaller for a different scene, I can do that. If I wanna make it so I'm the only one and it's real big, I can do that too. Really cool stuff that you can do. I mean, really, really cool stuff that you can do. And that's the difference in, see if I had a green screen, if you remember the last one, let's go back over to that in just a second, okay? Let's go back over to the green screen. We're gonna switch scenes. If you look here, I'm still behind, but notice what happened because I changed my C922, it made a circle. That might not be what you want. So you have to be real careful if you have multiple webcams, like I have three webcams on my computer at the top of my monitor, I can separate squares and circles and all that kind of stuff. So remember, once you do something within a scene, it changes it for all those scenes because I'm changing the C922 itself, not the channel. So you see what, see what that did, see what happened? There it is, boom, there you go. That is the difference in green screen and alpha. So this is actually alpha and green screen. So it's got both. So I wanted to show you that there are differences. And if you're going to do two different things in the same thing, that it overlaps. So you have to be real careful of that. I hope this was helpful and you learned a little bit about the difference between green screen and alpha magic, I call it. All right. I thank you very much for joining today. Thank you so much for joining today. I really do appreciate it. Look, if you like this and you and you you might think you uh, like some other stuff like this, I do OBS stuff. I do all kinds of different things, just helpful tips for people all the time. Please subscribe to my channel and feel free to watch some of these other ones. And there'll probably be some other ones right here or here or wherever I put them. And please subscribe right here, 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 here there wherever that was yeah down maybe okay there wherever it is thank you for watching 
a uh, little it's a little different i could probably here let me push that up a little bit from my oh, oh the phone's gonna fall over oh my gosh oh my gosh we're dying we're dying help me everybody drunk yet hold on Whew. figure i'd pause that because it's probably made you sick so anyway